Girls, what's our goal for this game? To win! How much are we going to win by? A lot! Go get them, Rush. From the city of Vegas, north of the Strip, about uh, 15 to 20 miles, this is the City of Las Vegas Mayor's Cup International Youth Soccer Tournament for 2011. And you see right there the um, Idaho Rush Nike squad, and they are preparing for their match against El Dorado United Eclipse 97 from Sacramento, California area. And let's get the lineups for both squads. First for Idaho Rush and Nike. Their keeper is Maddie Minert. Number two is Haley Boyd. Number four is Trinity Peterson. Number seven, Rachel Faith. Eight, Gabby Nicholson. Nine is Maddie Kozakowski. Ten, Jamie Federick. Twelve, Cookie Cowan. 13, Chloe Monroe. Yeah. Kylie Shields is number 14. Maddie Watts, number 16. 18 is Nina Gallegos. 23 is Haley Kaysen. 24 is Kiana Garcia. And 27 is Taylor Jones. Idaho Rush Nike will be going from left to right on your picture. And they are in, of course, gray with the blue stripes. And... Uh, Going from right to left is El Dorado United Eclipse 97 from El Dorado, California, up there again, as I mentioned, Sacramento area. Their head coach is Paul Kennedy. The manager is Jay Pollock. And shift colors, we are underway for all you sailors out there, past and present, here at Ed Fountain Park on a grass field. There's three of the grass fields and two of the artificial. And quickly, a save has to be made for El Dorado United Eclipse 97, and that was Nina Grimes handling it. And of course, as she being the keeper, number three is Nicole Shudo. She's number, again, as I mentioned, number three. Number four is Madison Doerr. Number five is Alexandria De Christopher. Number six is Megan Graham. Number seven, Courtney Bruno. 11 is Chaney Mata. 13, Brianna Palmer. 14 is Gabriella Turnbull. Number 16 is Maddie Makler. 17 is Lauren Whited. 18 is Kirsten Jome. 20 is Hannah Pollock. 22 is Nicole Mazzone. I did not mention the head coach for Idaho Rush Nike is uh, Lee Riley, and a manager is Tracy Kaysen. El Dorado, United Eclipse. On the right flank, and that ball had too much pace on it for Brianna Palmer to get to it. And Maddie Minert able to make the save. But there was an offsides call and a free kick for Idaho Rush Nike. Uh, winning it down to central there was Cheney Mata. Mata going out to the right flank. And dispossessed and back with it is Idaho Rush Nike. They have a striker down to central and a save is made. That time, Chloe Monroe a bid to try to put it in the back of the net. Just couldn't strike that soccer ball as hard as she'd like to. Now you see there coming off her line is Maddie Minert driving the ball out of play past the and falling down there. For El Dorado, Madison Doerr as she attempted to get to the soccer ball and throw it in. And she's right at about midfield throwing it in. There's a strike there by Palmer. And back to her teammate and now a strike up forward out of the defensive half. Chasing that ball down. That time was Kozakowski ran out of real estate. And now that ball in a defensive half. With winning it there, Idaho Rush Nike, and that is uh, Chloe Monroe in the central. All 
all the way down the left flank, chasing it down there is Taylor Jones. Ran out of real estate, but it was lastly touched down by El Dorado United. And trying to keep it in there was uh, Makler, could not. Off the left flank. And the central. And a whistle. And a foul. Foul's going to work against Idaho Rush Nike. So the free kick upcoming for El Dorado United. And it's nil-nil match here at Ed Fountain Park. All the way down to the attacking third. But uh, they couldn't get anybody to run onto it. Now they'll have to retreat back as it's sent back to their defensive third for El Dorado United. So El Dorado United eclipse 97 back in their own defensive half, and that's the way they played to start off this match. In an opening five or six minutes. 30-minute halves here at Ed Fountain Park. Mayor's Cup International Youth Soccer Tournament for 2011. Halloween weekend. It's been nice weather over here. In the city of Vegas, actually Summerlin section, north of Vegas. Down the right flank again, and that's been their only attack so far. And that ball is pushed out of play as trying to get to it was Monroe. And it'll be a throw in. Idaho Rush Nike throwing it in. In his central, quick touch by Hannah Pollock into the 18-yard box, and the save is made. No problem for Matty Minnert. And Matty striking the ball all the way down into the final third for Idaho Rush and Nike. And they're going to be able to throw it in as El Dorado Eclipse knocking it out. Into the 18-yard box, try to get a strike and cannot. So they give away an opportunity here. And it's going to be a goal kick. El Dorado United Eclipse. Both teams out of the bracket A. Flight Telemundo. In their defensive third again, trying to protect is El Dorado Eclipse. And they're able to do so and get it up to midfield. Palmer is trying to go further, could not. As Idaho Rush Nike now, they're winning it at midfield. And that was Haley Boyd. Boyd strike down that left flank for her teammate into the box now, trying to make a big play by getting a uh, good crossing pass. But uh, that did not work out. And so they give up another opportunity. But they are having the opportunities. The possession arrow has mainly resided in their favor. And the attacking third again into the 18-yard box. A couple of defenders there for El Dorado United Eclipse. But now here's a strike and not a lot on it by Kozakowski. But Matty was there in his space to get a strike toward a keeper. In a defensive third now for El Dorado United Eclipse. As they try to go upfield, they go up the right flank. They get it over to uh, Graham. And now out wide again. But in the space is taken away. Idaho Rush Nike with it. As they have a player there in the center circle, but her pass is intercepted in the space. As the visitors from the Sacramento area, about 20 miles outside. And they try to go further, but cannot. Goes all the way back to the keeper. Minnert. And quickly, as she has a strong foot, getting it to the attacking third again. And that's an advantage 
for her squad, but on the near side, not able to keep it in that time was uh, Kozakowski. And the throw in, El Dorado United Eclipse and written in white across their jerseys. On the near side, it goes out of play. There's an Eclipse also in Southern California, the Laguna Hills Soccer Club. In his space, the line has been able to compress the visitors from Northern California. But now they have to retreat back. On the near side, it'll be a throw in. El Dorado United Eclipse. Greg G.K. Porter for Ledgeman Productions. Hopefully you're enjoying this match. A little bit uh, under uh, some cloudy scenario here, but nothing that's going to be any kind of a rain or anything. Just kind of clouding up the sun just a little bit. Going to be a uh, throw in. A throw in from the visitors from the state of Idaho. The Rush Nike squad on the near side, but not getting anything out of that was uh, Kozakowski, and that's just a clean giveaway from Mazone throwing it in and off the strike. It caroms over towards the central. Striking it there was Turnbull, and now Turnbull gets it again, striking it forward. And now onto it is Door, Madison Door. Madison Door outside of the 18-yard box makes a nice move around one defender. Service trying to get her teammate to strike it and cannot as she was kind of uh, shielded away from the soccer ball. Just ever so slightly as fortunately for uh, the Idaho squad, they have a couple players there next to the keeper. And that last sequence, but now it's going to be a free kick. Taking it is Nicole Mazzone. For El Dorado United Eclipse 97. Mazzone would like to try to do something here. Give her team an opportunity to put that ball on frame. With some good velocity, a good chance. And bleeding there is the player for Idaho Rush Nike. She has to come out of the match. And now coming in for her is Maddie Watts, number 16. Here's a strike by Mazzone. Trying to get somebody to run onto it. In the box, they have it. And it deflects off of a Idaho Rush Nike player, and now they're going to have a CK. So the CK upcoming, Brenna Palmer, looks like she's going to take it. In this nil-nil match, both teams with a clean sheet so far. Here in a grassy field of Ed Fountain Park. Just the three grassy fields, field number five. And the other two are artificial service. The outswinger knocked down by the keeper, Minert. However, they still have a chance. The El Dorado squad, and they put it on toward that six-yard box, but Minert able to make the save, no problem. Plenty of time and space. Gets it quickly going upfield after a strike out of the left flank. Running on to it now is Rachel Faith. Faith tried to serve it. Into the 18-yard box, but the defender getting there to drive that ball past the goal line. They'll give up the CK, but thankfully, the defender was right there in the space to make the play because Faith was going to get a pretty good service. Nil-nil your score. Langevin Productions. Here in the Las Vegas Mayor's Cup International Tournament. And this ball is served. Uh, and it's off the side of frame, trying to get it just inside a near post for somebody to touch it. For an Idaho rush Nike, that didn't happen. And when I mean touch it, I mean strike it. Don't want to touch it with your hand or anything like that. Result in a foul. So now it's a goal kick. Substitutions, if we miss any substitutions, we'll mention them as they touch that soccer ball on a pitch. A strike. The El Dorado United Eclipse 97, and now they quickly get their counterattack going on the right flank. They have it. 
The service in a box, but nobody is able to get onto it as chasing it towards that six yard box was Kirsten Jones. Too much pace on a soccer ball that time. Minert, her pass intercepted. Still in the defensive half by the whole rush Nike as El Dorado. United getting a strike there by Mazzone, sending it up forward, but way too much pace on it for Joan. Kirsten says, slow it down a little bit. Let's connect. I'm sure she's thinking that after the last two plays there. Minert driving it up forward. Try to get it out of their defensive third. They do as they work towards midfield. On the outside there is Kozakowski, but she ran out of real estate. So El Dorado United, Eclipse, have the soccer ball. Trying to keep their attack going. Here's Pollock. Hannah Pollock. Pollock under a lot of duress there. Being man marked well. Pollock takes a shot. And it's over the frame. Hannah Pollock found some space that time and was able to get a pretty decent shot. She just couldn't bend it by the keeper and get it inside. Frame towards the back of the net. As it's up to Central now, and Nicholson trying to run on to it, cannot. Take it away. The dark blue of El Dorado United Eclipse 97 trying to protect on the Y. They do. But here's the chip getting it over to Chloe Monroe in attacking third. Chloe weaving her way back to the Y. For her teammate, Kozakowski, and Kozakowski sending it back upfield. And it was deflected out of play by El Dorado United Eclipse. The throw in, Idaho Rush Nike on the near side, it goes out of play. Trying to get that soccer ball was Kylie Shields. And just could not do it. Out of their own defensive third, Eclipse 97. Now having trouble with it. And it might have been a handball right there in the space. So they get a free kick. Try to work it out of their own defensive half. As this game has gone on, they have had more possessions, El Dorado United. And more chances to try to put it in the back of the net. And here they go again with uh, Brianna Palmer. Palmer now, left foots it. Trying to find somebody to connect. Intercepted, though, to midfield. The header. Idaho rush Nike, but they cannot possess it. They give it away. Have to retreat back quickly. And able to do so is Cookie Cowan. And Cowan drives it out of play. Big play for Cookie that time to be able to get to the soccer ball. And it's nil nil match. Ed Fountain Park, and we have substitutions coming in now for both teams. Coming in for Idaho Rush Nike, number four, Trinity Peterson, and number 18, Nina Gallegos. State of Idaho, highly famous for potatoes in Iowa, Idaho. <laughs> And falling down that time was a Shudo. And it's going to be a free kick as Shudo was pushed down. Shaney Mata on a free kick. Wants to go to the central. Off the diagonal pass, a strike into the 18. And it's an offsides goal. So offsides on the attempt by El Dorado United. Eclipse. And driven upfield, trying to strike it there was Gabriella Turnbull, could not. And now her teammates are going to have to retreat back, and that's uh, Mata. And driving that ball out of play. 
All in the attempt to try to protect their keeper and that goal, Nina Grimes. In the space, Idaho rush Nike, but they give it away in the central. But they win it back now with Haley Boyd. Boyd finds a teammate quickly to Peterson. Peterson wants to go out wide, but her teammate did not get to it. And that would have been uh, Gallegos. And uh, now there's a whistle. It's going to be a free kick. Center ref didn't like the action there by Idaho Rush Nike. And a free kick. Visitors from the Sacramento area of California. Center ref says play on. Down to Central. Idaho Rush Nike now trying to keep their attack going here. But they're going to give it away here in this first half. Hannah Pollock now on it. Pollock. Team manager, Jay Pollock. Up to Central for El Dorado United. Eclipse, but they can't go any further as Gabriella Turnbull was dispossessed. A strike there by Matty Watts. Still in the Central. Right at whole rush Nike. And that attacking third of the central. And he goes out of play on the near side. Not able to keep it in. That time was Gabby Nicholson. Off of a bounce. Strike there by uh, Kiana Garcia. Didn't do much with it. However, they still have the touches here. Into the central. Trying to continue on. Down and central they do into the 18-yard box. And coming way off her line. No problem for Nina Grimes. Which way will Nina go with it? She wants to go down to central with that soccer ball. It's brought right back in her defensive half. And that back line has to again respond. As now here's Trinity, Trinity Peterson. Peterson getting it over to Maddie Watts. Got a player inside the 18 now. And they can't go any, she can't go any further as a dispossessed. And now a player falling down for Idaho Rush Nike. And back with it is El Dorado United Eclipse. Alexandria De Christopher. De Christopher's pass upfield and in the pass out the left flank not able to get to it was Hannah Pollock but it didn't matter because uh, the rush Nike squad knocking it out of play on a near side and it's going to be a throw in now for El Dorado United De Christopher getting it into the box looking for somebody to strike it Shudo couldn't get to it in a central Turnbull Dispossessed. They have to retreat back now. Mazone couldn't find a teammate as it was intercepted into space that time by Nicholson. Now here's Haley Boyd. It's in the attacking third in the box. And a save by Grimes as Trinity Peterson bearing down on her. Just a little bit in front of Trinity. Otherwise, she'd have had a good, solid chance at getting their first goal of the, uh, goal of the match. As they're in their defensive third, they get a strike into the central. Hannah Pollock. And this girls under 15 match, watching a Landerman production. I'm Greg G.K. Porter. Happy to be with you here at Ed Fountain Park. Halloween weekend, very nice weather here in the Las Vegas area. Down to Central. As midfielder is able to collect that ball. And a whistle, and it's going to be a free kick. Free kick now, Idaho rush Nike. Both teams still with a blank sheet, nil-nil. Going out wide. Good. As they work it up the field. A touch there by Maddie Watts. And down the left flank. They can't get a subsequent touch on it. And it will be a throw in. 
for the darker blue of the Eclipse. El Dorado United. They'll throw it in from their defensive half as substitutions are being made. Coming in now, number 13, Chloe Monroe. So Monroe back into the match. Idaho Rush Nike. And a whistle. Player going down for Idaho Rush Nike and the space. So now they have the free kick. On it now is Boyd. Boyd down to Central. Boyd weaving her way, but can't go any further. Neither team having a player with blazing speed. The speed of both teams is pretty equal in this match. It's going to be connecting passes. It's going to be wise uh, ways of striking the soccer ball. Is going to be the difference in this match. And now going down for El Dorado United. Eclipse, 97 team. The number five there, Alexandria De Christopher. And De Christopher drawing a yellow card for a player. Of Idaho Rush Nike. And so now their team has the first yellow card of the match. As De Christopher going down hard that time. And it's going to be a substitution. For Idaho Rush Nike. As they want to get the yellow carded player off the field. And Kylie Shields comes in to replace her. And to the 18-yard box by Hannah Pollock. Now Pollock gets another touch on it. Got a teammate in support, Mazzone, but can't get it back to Pollock. However, Pollock intercepts there in the space. In his central, the uh, touch there by Frederick. Now up forward to Haley Boyd. Boyd down to central, her pass is intercepted. Lauren White, but now it's in the box at a save. Nina Grimes. Able to range over to her right and make the save. Grimes up to central. Couldn't connect to a teammate there. A couple of players in the space. And now is out wide for Idaho Rush Nike. And they can't go any further. As they run out of real estate, the throw in. By El Dorado United. The Eclipse, 97 team down there right flank, looking for De Christopher, but protected there on the exterior. Idaho rush Nike, and now it's going to be a offsides call. And so a free kick. Or take that back, not a offsides call. It's going to be a throw in. Maybe an illegal throw in that time. The throw in by Idaho Rush Nike. In the center circle. As they want to work it out wide off the diagonal. Trying to get it there was a Shields. Ran by the soccer ball after being dispossessed. And going up to central. And with it was a Shudo. Shudo pushed down. And so now it's going to be a free kick. Free kick. Taking it, number 11. Cheney Mata off the wall, a deflection, and they nearly were able to beat the keeper that time. Nice play as they were able to get a deflection after it deflected off the wall, and they just were not able to put it in the back of the net. El Dorado United Eclipse 97. So they're still knotted up in a nil-nil tie with Idaho Rush Nike. On a wide side as they try to push it up out of their defensive third. Knocked out by the 
Darker blue. Touches there in the central. Pollock trying to get another strike. They do. Shudo. Nice changing direction that time. Possessing that soccer ball. Shudo off a deflection in a box to Pollock in a corner. And getting back there quickly was Frederick. Nice job by Jamie getting to that soccer ball. Protecting for her squad. Always got to be careful to do just that in the 18-yard box, but you got to know how to do it in a way which you do not foul the other team to give up a penalty chance. And up high off the service, a good one, but nobody able to bring it down for El Dorado United Eclipse. And it is struck out of play by Idaho Rush Nike. They would have liked to get some connecting passes there to work it out of their defensive third. And that did not happen. And so now they will have to protect again in that defensive third. See what El Dorado United Eclipse can do in their final third here. Into the box now. Trying to get somebody else to strike it. And they cannot. And that's a double whistle signaling the end of the first half of action here at Ed Fountain Park. The grass field, one of the three out of the five fields here at F Fountain Park. The other two are artificial surface. Stick with us. We'll be back with the second half in just a moment. Nil-nil. Clean sheet for both squads. Action set to get underway here in the second half. Of course, both teams are going in the opposite direction now. Of course, uh, Idaho rush Nike right to left and left to right. El Dorado United Eclipse 97. Both teams had a possession time pretty close to even, maybe uh, 55 or 60 40 for the Idaho rush Nike and El Dorado, a, a team that really in the opening moments couldn't really do anything offensively but as the uh, half went on uh, they actually ended up with the better quality strikes towards uh, putting it in the back of the net all righty now Idaho rush Nike moving up the field at midfield now and as they get into the defensive half of El Dorado United Eclipse 97 trying to see what they can do to put one in the back of the net. Both teams in a nil-nil scenario. Blank sheet. Hope you're enjoying all the action out there on the pitch. I'm Greg G.K. Porter here in the City of Las Vegas Mayor's Cup International Youth Soccer Tournament for 2011. Ed Fountain Park. Light starting to take effect here. Early evening time. Quick strike there. 
And that ball goes out of play. So it's going to be a throw in now as moving up the soccer field, the team in the darker blue. That's Mazone off the header. And now Makler couldn't quite get to it. And now the giveaway results in pushing it up the field. Idaho Rush and Nike. At midfield, though, throwing it in. El Dorado Eclipse. Idaho Rush Nike. Can't go any further. They have it there into space. Touch quickly. A time by Kaysen, but a giveaway now. Strike there by Makler. Makler getting it to the central for Jome. Jome can't go any further, dispossessed. Both teams, team speed is about even. So as I mentioned in the first half, both teams are going to have to try and make good connecting passes, work their way down the field, or either beat each other uh, on a counterattack. And it's going to have to be a good coordinated co counterattack. It's going to be a free kick now. Offsides call. Or take it back. There was a foul in the space. On it there was Matty Watts. Her pass went wide, but it's intercepted. Back on a counter. El Dorado United Eclipse 97 on the near side as they continue to work to the attacking third. And they cannot possess it there as going it after it was um, Makler, but she could not get to it. And so going back up the pitch on the left flank, Kozakowski dispossessed. Back the other way on a quick counter with Makler and Makler on the near side, but he goes out of play. And it's girls under 15 match. Bracket A, Flight Telemundo. You see there, Madeline, uh, Madeline Makler throwing it in. And Madeline gets it in to her teammate. A quick touch strike back to her, but that's caromed upfield. But here's Door. Door striking it down at central. And now our keeper has to come off her line and make the save. It actually turned out to be not a save, just striking that ball upfield. Now we have a foul. And it works against Idaho Rush Nike at the midfield area. So the free kick service down toward the 18, intercepted. Into space, Idaho Rush Nike. And now on it is Matty Watts. Watts goes out wide looking for Kozakowski. She has it. Matty Kozakowski. Back to Matty Watts. Watts looks back again for Kozakowski out wide, but she couldn't get it. Get into space, Taylor Jones. Nobody on the other side. However, into space intercepting was Kiana Garcia. Nicely done. And now they are able to win it. El Dorado United Eclipse, but they cannot keep it in. So here's Taylor Jones to throw in. Gets a strike by her teammate. Jones chasing after it, won't be able to get to it. As the visitors from Northern California have it now. Try to go out wide, the strike. Now into the central for Graham. Graham gets it to Shuto, wants to drop it back. Gets a return pass. Wants to go out wide now and does with Door, but Door's pass intercepted. Door chasing it down, won't be able to get to it. As onto it there is Haley Kaysen and a whistle. Going to be a foul. And a free kick. Setting it up, Matty Kozakowski. 
And instead, Taylor Jones takes it back to Kozakowski, but she can't quite get to it. But now is able to get to it. This is still kept in. Into the 18 off the service. Still in the attacking third. They go out wide now for Rachel Faith. Faith now trying to chase it down. Faith goes down. And let's see. There's a foul on a play. Service into the 18-yard box. Trying to get somebody to strike it. They do. Kozakowski, but couldn't get enough on that soccer ball. Kozakowski trying to settle the soccer ball, but uh, wasn't felt she didn't have enough time to do that and just struck it anyway. And it goes wide of frame. Still nil-nil. Here at Ed Fountain Park, one of the grassy fields out of three. Field number five. In the central now. The visitors from Northern California now going up the field on a near side, trying to protect and keep it going in the attacking third. It is out of play. And Idaho rush Nike Habit. Kozakowski now. Kozakowski still on it. Kozakowski chasing it down. Still on a soccer ball in the corner, but uh, they double team her that time. And Dorr getting to it. It goes past the goal line. And they're going to get a corner kick. Kozakowski has worked that time. Created the situation now where they have the CK. Kozakowski's in swinger, and it's a good one, but it's headed out of the 18-yard box. She gets another strike on it, and a deflection, and a save that time by Grimes. Grimes able to make the save, and they continue the pressure in the 18-yard box. Idaho rush Nike. Knotted up in a nil-nil tie in the early part of the second half. As you see there, Maddie Watts to Kozakowski, looking back for Watts. Watts in the box. Watts goes around one player, strikes it. It's deflected. Watts again trying to get to it and cannot. And it's going to be a foul against Watts. Free kick for El Dorado United Eclipse 97. But nice work that time by Kozakowski and Watts to keep the pressure on. Maybe the best sequence in the entire match. Two players working to keep the pressure on. In this Mayor's Cup International Youth Soccer Tournament. Here at Ed Fountain Park, the girls under 15 age group. Greg G.K. Porter, happy to be with you for Langevin Productions. In the attacking third, as Idaho rush Nike, a strike that time by Watts. Watts has it again. Watts still on it. Watts towards the keeper and a save by Grimes. And Watts, good work there at the top part of the box. Able to get a quality strike towards frame that Grimes had to save. And they're having more problems here in their defensive half. Buzzing around again as it goes out of play. That time it's Taylor Jones. The throw in. Watts. They try to go diagonal, but it's intercepted. El Dorado United Eclipse 97. Around midfield. Can they win it? They do. And that ball goes out toward the wide now. Makler. Into the 18 now. Graham, and that ball goes past the goal line. Graham would have liked to have had a better strike that time as they had a pretty good counterattack going up the field. Playing recently here a lot in their own defensive half. Again. Second half starting off very similar to the way the first half started. For Idaho rush Nike. Possessing the soccer ball, getting the touches, putting the pressure. 
on El Dorado United. But now here's an opportunity in the attacking third for El Dorado United with Makler. And it goes out of past the goal line out of play. So it's going to be a goal kick. The keeper, Minert, and it goes out of play on the near side. Taylor Jones is, will throw it in. Substitutions for Idaho Rush Nike as they get Gabby Nicholson into the match. Jones is pass. Getting it to Watts. But Watts' pass is intercepted. And on it now is Palmer. Brianna Palmer. And it goes out of play. So Brenna Palmer would have liked to have gotten a better shot on it and maybe might have been better served to wait for her teammates to uh, join her in the box. Substitution for the Eclipse. And we will mention that player as she touches the soccer ball. It is nil-nil match. And it is now going to be a free kick in the defensive half. Well, the Idaho visitors taking it. Brenna Palmer setting it up. And Brenna setting it up for uh, Cheney Mata. Mata now. Her strike is a good one up high. But the save is made by Minert. And let's see what the call is. Must have been offsides. And yes, it was. Over in a far area of their defensive third. And the exterior, they, knock, they have a player to knock it out. Idaho Rush Nike. That player was Rachel Faith, and Faith knocks it out again. Faith and her teammates have to protect. Strike quickly there by Turnbull. Turnbull getting it out wide, but here's an intercept by Maddie Watts. But uh, there was a player there for the Eclipse to be able to win it in the space. Graham at the midfield area can't go any further as the back line able to get to that soccer ball and push it up out of their defensive half. Idaho Rush Nike, they've got something going down to Central now. Got a player in the 18-yard box, and it's broken up at the last moment. And as I mentioned, both teams pretty even when it comes to the speed to be able to get down the field and individual players, no player being you know, exceptionally fast to be able to get by defenders. And so both teams really have to work together to coordinate things going out there on a pitch and try and get one in the back of the net as we are still locked at a nil-nil tie. The throw in. From the far side touchline, it's knocked out of play again, and it is knocked out by the darker blue of El Dorado United, Eclipse 97. And it's a free kick out of their own defensive third along the right flank, and it is knocked out that time by Megan Graham. And they say, no, it was not knocked out by Megan Graham. It was knocked out by the uh, player marking her into space, so Graham throws it in. And that would have been Gabby Nicholson. Up forward now as Cookie Cowan dropping it back to her keeper to strike it up to midfield. The touch 
by Turnbull. And it goes out of play. Nobody on the other end of that soccer ball. So going to be a throw in. With the gray with the blue stripes. Idaho Rush Nike. They have a player in the space. That's Chloe Monroe. Monroe into the 18-yard box for Watts. But Watts could not control the soccer ball. However, in support, they're going to get subsequent touches now with uh, Kylie Shields trying to get her teammate to get it. Could not. And in the attacking third, they still have it now. Here is Monroe into the box. Trying to do something with it was Kaysen. And a foul right outside the box as Kaysen tried to get to the soccer ball and keep her balance. A foul on a play. And now here's a big chance. Watts had a save by Grimes. Watts tried to get some velocity on it while bending the soccer ball, but Grimes was able to make the save. Maybe the closest opportunity to put it in the back of the net that time for Idaho Rush Nike, but not able to cash it in after the foul just outside the 18. And here again as they work towards the attacking third and a foul. And will there be a yellow card? There will be. And that's going to work against Lauren Whited. So a free kick. Why did have El Dorado United Eclipse? Too much on the play against Kylie Shields, and Shields will take the free kick. And now coming out is, of course, Whited. And they'll get a fresh player in. Whited not happy with the call. Most of the time, players are not. In the world of soccer, the ball with the geometric designs of the world's most famous sport, football. In most countries, soccer in this one. We got another sport called football. A shot by Watts is deflected there at the top of the box. To the outside of the 18, still putting pressure on and now losing her balance on the grass. And it's going to be a foul, and this time it works against Rachel Faith. She thought maybe she would get the call by the center ref. That didn't work out. But they intercept it anyway and keep it in the defensive half of the Northern California visitors. And it's going to be a foul. In the defensive half now of Idaho Rush Nike. As the dark blue trying to get something going of El Dorado United. As now toward the attacking third. It's intercepted. Ball caroming around. But here's a nice strike down to Central. But coming way off her line is Maddie Minert. And Maddie driving it upfield. But her teammate couldn't handle it. Off the 50-50, winning it is uh, Make Makler and Makler's pass. And the center ref says play on. Down to Central in a box. They've got a runner in the box now, but two defenders catch up. And now she's triple teamed. And now that ball will go past the goal line. Haley Kaysen, nice run. But the defenders were able to get back there and not allow her to be able to get a good service as they kept that from happening by corralling her. And then the subsequent strike, not a good one at all. By her teammate, upfield. The strike back to Minert. Minert now, oh, and she was real close that time. Kind of a little bit lazy with a soccer ball and almost could have costed her. Throw in now as the head coach saying, be careful with that soccer ball. As a keeper, always have to be mindful of the speed of players coming at you and the close proximity and their abilities. Shields. 
Shudo. Nicole Shudo again deflected at the top of the box and now wide now. And here is Brenna Palmer, and they nearly beat the keeper that time. This is going to be an offsides call, so it wouldn't have counted anyways. Minert upfield. Intercepted, though, by Makler. Try to go out wide. Can't get anybody to run onto it. So here comes Idaho Rush Nike up the field. Out wide, they're able to win it. Graham. Graham still on it. Graham goes down. Loses possession of it and back the other way with the counter, but player into space, taken away. El Dorado United Eclipse, 97. The strike by Madeline Makler, but nobody there. Too much pace on it that time. It goes out of play on a near side in this nil-nil match. Lights have taken full effect here at Ed Fountain Park. One of the different fields that we have been to, Centennial Hills, Ed Fountain Park. Of course, the great Betty Wilson Soccer Complex and Kellogg Zayer. Substitutions for both squads, and we will mention them as they touch that soccer ball on the near side. After it there, Brenna Palmer, but Brenna couldn't get to it. But it's okay. Knocked out by Idaho Rush Nike. Throwing now, Madeline Makler to Palmer. In the space. They can't get a subsequent touch. Stiffening up both teams, playing real good defense against each other in this match. That's why it's still nil-nil as we work midway through the second half of action. Here is El Dorado United Eclipse 97 with uh, Brenna Palmer out wide to Madeline Makler. Nice shot, but a save. Protecting the near post. That time was Maddie Minert. Off of it, a deflection as Idaho rush Nike try to go up the field. But again, just like last half you see the darker blue playing better as the half moves on getting more and more possessions more and more of a chance and here's another good one but couldn't do anything there was courtney bruno bruno was all alone for a moment and just could not keep her balance and fell to the turf and there went the chance but back up field, they'll have an opportunity to get it out of their own defensive third. El Dorado United Eclipse. But a foul on the play. And you don't want to give it away in your own defensive third, but that's what they've done. Off to midfield, getting the air attack going, trying to settle it, and they're able to do so. In the central now with uh, Cookie Cowan off of Watts is a strike. Cowan now in the central, it can't go any further. Both teams losing their balance in uh, this uh, mushy field out here. Here's Cookie Cowan and Cowan can't Get it to a teammate. However, on an intercept, they still have it. Putting pressure on El Dorado United Eclipse. Three players there as uh, they're able to keep it from going any further. But the gray with the blue stripes trying to continue on, and they could not that time. As players slipping here on its grass of Ed Fountain Park. Strike now. And another opportunity there. Brenna Palmer falling down. 
Out wide, Idaho Rush Nike on her counter, and it is routed out of the field of play for a throw in from the far side touch line and it's nil nil match. Greg GK Porter with you. Landerman Productions. The throw in to Nicholson. Got a player in the 18. Now here's a strike. A deflection up in the air. But winning it is El Dorado United Eclipse. However, still in their defensive third and it nearly had a player to run on to it. Did Idaho rush Nike. However, they still have an opportunity outside the 18. So the ref says play on oh, and nearly had another opportunity in the central. And that one went awry. Number 12, Cookie Cowan. Could not get to the soccer ball. Now coming in, Matty Kozakowski. Kozakowski has been able to do damage along the left flank against the defenders of El Dorado United Eclipse. The header in the central, but winning it, El Dorado United. Brenna Palmer pursuing it and can't get to it, goes down. Ball goes out of play. And on the near side, will it be a foul or will it be a throw in? It's gonna be a throw in. El Dorado United Eclipse after the throw in by Brenna Palmer, but it's intercepted. However, winning it back down to Central. No problem for Matty Minnert. Plenty of time and space. Courtney Bruno not able to get to that one. And the Central, Rokosikowski. And now here is the one who has been somewhat dangerous, Matty Watts. M Watts, nice moves. Watts off a of deflection in a six-yard box. Just couldn't get a teammate to get to the soccer ball, but a nice service by Matty Watts. Still nil-nil, the throw in. Kozakowski, it goes out of play. Center ref says play on. As Kozakowski went down. Watts, she goes down. And it's going to be a free kick. So Maddie Watts goes down, drawing the free kick. And another dangerous scenario for El Dorado United Eclipse 97 team. And his girls under 15 flight Telemundo match. Hope you're enjoying all the action. The free kick, Maddie Watts. A good one. Teammate can't win it there in the space. And that was uh, Haley Kaysen. And that is the end of the match. And their last opportunity to try to put it in the back of the net. We hope that you enjoyed all the action here from Ed Fountain Park in the City of Las Vegas Mayor's Cup International Youth Soccer Tournament for 2011. And both teams putting out a great effort in this match, but not able to get anything on a scoreboard. So a blank sheet for both and doesn't work against you. Doesn't really work much for you, but uh, it doesn't work against you in the world of soccer. So until we talk to you next time, I'm Greg G.K. Porter saying take care of yourself. God bless. And as always, remember to save this one on the hard drive. Bye now.
I'm Joe Kozakowski here in Las Vegas at the uh, Mayor's Tournament. I'm here with Cookie Cowan. <laughs> and what, what's your number? 12. And what's your position? Center back. Hold the mic too. Center back. And uh, how long have you been playing soccer? You know, I don't know. <laughs> so as long as you can remember. Yep. <laughs> so what, what got you into soccer? My friend was playing soccer, so I decided to play. Cool. Yeah. And what's your favorite thing about soccer? The competitiveness. How far do you want to take your level of soccer play? All the way to college. All the way to college? What school do you want to go to? UCLA or Washington State. UCLA, Washington State, those are good schools. So uh, you want to be a Cougar? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. And uh, what, what's, your, what's the one thing you're going to remember about tonight? How upset I am. <laughs> How upset you are? Yes. So when you, when you look back at this video and you remember, um, because as a fan, I can tell you that this was an amazing game to watch. As a fan, it wasn't the outcome we wanted, but it was an amazing game to watch, and you played really well. So, um, so the one thing I want you to remember when you're, you're playing, you're watching this video, is that uh, how it feels to lose, and um, you know you never want to taste that again, right? Correct. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, it was a pleasure watching this game tonight. Again, your name is? Cookie Cowan. <laughs> and we're live here in Vegas. <laughs> I'm Joe Kozakowski, live here in Vegas at the uh, Mayor's, uh, Mayor's Cup, I think it's called. And I'm here with... Kylie Shields. Which I call her the killer. Um, what position do you play? Um, everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> uh, I watched the game tonight. She was everywhere. She was amazing. Uh, what's, what are the two positions you normally play? Goalie and wing. Okay. How long have you been playing soccer? Since I was like four. What's your favorite thing about soccer? <laughs> Everything. Who's the greatest soccer player you know? Ooh, Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo. Doesn't your dad play soccer? No. Uh, so what are you guys doing here in Vegas? Well, we went on that pointy thing, and we went on all the rides and stuff. The stratosphere. stratosphere. And then now we're going to Fod Ruckers tonight. Fod Ruckers, are you going to have a burger? No. What are you going to have? Nothing. Nothing? Fries. Fries? OK, uh, let's see. Who is your uh, favorite female soccer player? I only know Mia Hamm. Mia Hamm? <laughs> oh, no, no. Mm, mm, what's her name? She's a goalie. Hope Solo. Hope Solo. Okay, Hope Solo. And what are your goals for soccer? Um, to get better <laughs> as I get older. Cool. Okay. <laughs> and um, what was the one thing that you've done besides the stratosphere that you're going to take from this trip that you, that you loved or hated? You know, probably getting lost everywhere I go. Okay. Well, we're here in Las Vegas, again, with an amazing soccer player. Just watched an amazing game, and that's about it. Signing out. See ya. Bye. I'm a fan here in Las Vegas live with uh, two soccer players that have an amazing game we just watched. I'm here with... Kiana Garcia, Jamie Frederick. And what position do you play? Center back, right back. Okay. And um, how long have you been playing soccer? I don't really know. <laughs> how about you? Four, three. So you've been playing since you were born, and you've been playing since you were four or three. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's the one thing you like about soccer that you can't uh, get in another sport? Well, it's really aggressive, and you can push people down. <laughs> okay, cool. How about you? It's like... Same thing? Same. <laughs> okay, and what are your goals for soccer, if you have any? To get better as I get older. <laughs> um, I'd like to play college. Okay, yeah. college. Okay, yeah. any schools you like thus far? No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, what's the best thing you guys done in Vegas thus far? Well, I went to Target. Target. Okay, that's always cool. The roller coaster. The roller coaster. Okay. <laughs> and do you guys have anything planned tonight? Well, Fud Ruckers. It's always fun. A shower in bed. A shower in bed. Okay. Okay. What's your favorite food you like? Cheese. Cheese. Okay. Um, Salad. <laughs> Salad? Okay. Okay. You guys want to sing anything to the camera? Well, we played hard and we did great. <laughs> it really sucks <laughs> to lose. <laughs> yeah. We tied, which is a loss. Uh, well, really, it's not really lose, a loss. Lose, no, Exactly. To... Okay, you lost. Um, anybody? You want to say hello to anybody at home in Idaho? Hello, mom and dad. <laughs> hello, Kevin. Okay. okay, we're out of here in Vegas. <laughs> We're live here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We just got through finishing a beautiful game that we just watched as a sports fan. It was amazing. And I'm here with? Gabby Nicholson, Chloe Monroe. OK, and what positions do you play? I play forward and mid wing. OK. Center mid. Center mid. Yeah. Do you guys have any nicknames? 
Uh, uh, Gabby. Do you don't have a little nickname that your parents call you or anybody? No. No? How about you? No. No nicknames? No. You do. You don't want to tell us, huh? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so how, what, how long have you guys been playing soccer? Uh, I think I was four. Four years old? Yeah, four. What's the one thing you, you love about soccer? Just the um, team. Like, I love the team. And just the aggressiveness. And you can push people down. So that's, yeah. That's cool. That's a, that's a big theme here. <clears throat> the, I can make my own decisions. And my mom can't tell me what to do. Oh, your mom can't tell you what to do. Did you hear that? Uh, let's see. What A few goals for soccer, and then we'll go for some personal questions. How about uh, what are your goals for soccer, if any? Uh, just getting better as a player and, I don't know, just going as far as I can. That's good. How about you? Ditto. Ditto? Okay. Yeah. Any schools you guys are thinking about or uh, you guys like? I Colleges? No? I don't really know. I like MIT, but just for math. MIT, that's a great school. Yeah. Um, okay, so Vegas, fun stuff. How long have you guys, uh, or what have you guys done so far that you guys really liked and enjoyed? Well, I went to the Phantom of the Opera, and that was really cool. And then I went to the Stratosphere in New York, New York, and they were all really fun. So. Cool. Yeah. Went to New York, New York, and M&M World. Okay. M&M World, okay. Yeah. So we're live here in Vegas with a wonderful night under the lights, uh, Saturday night, signing out. Okay, thanks. So we're live here in Las Vegas under the lights, uh, just finishing up a beautiful tournament. Uh, I'm here with... Taylor Jones, Nina Gallegas, Maddie Kozakowski. Okay, and we just uh, witnessed a beautiful soccer game tonight. It was an amazing game that we had a chance to uh, witness. And um, so how long have you been playing soccer and what position do you play? Um, since I was four and I play left back. What's your name? Like since I was four and I play like mid. Since I was three and I play left mid. Okay, and do you guys have any uh, nicknames that your, your parents call you or anybody on the team calls you? Nope. No? No. No? They call me Cat. Okay. Uh, so we're going to stay on the soccer theme for a little bit here. So what are your goals, if any, how far do you want to take soccer and what do you enjoy about it? Well, I want to play college soccer and I like that it's a team sport and it, um. Okay, team sport. <laughs> yeah, okay. and the contact, it's a contact sport Contact too. sport, yeah, okay. Um, well, I kind of like a lot of things and then I think I might play in, co play in college, I'm not sure. Okay, and I think you want to go to... What? Oh, Stanford, right? Stanford, yeah. Okay, that's a great school. Mm -hmm. um, I want to go pro, probably. And I like that it's anybody's game, even like, I don't know, I, it's like anyone's game. So the great pe people can play like down and yeah. Okay. And uh, so what have you guys done that you guys have enjoyed in Vegas tonight? Uh, or this weekend, I should say. Well, I went on a roller coaster and it was a lot of fun. Roller coaster? I went on the roller coaster with her. Okay. Um, mine's this game. It was like, just see how much desire you have. Okay. And what about the boy at Nike Town, Maddie? <laughs> okay. Uh, one last thing. Uh, so, what's? Uh, do you want to say hello to anybody at home? Hi, mom and dad. Hi, mom and dad. Okay. Hi. Hi, dad. <laughs> hey, Maddie. So, signing out here live in Vegas. Uh, appreciate the night. It was a beautiful game. See you later. We are live in Las Vegas here with the Boise Rush, Idaho Rush. Uh, I'm standing here next to Coach Brian, Coach Jamie Frederick, <laughs> oh Kylie Shields, Cooks, Keanu Garcia, Gabby, <laughs> <laughs> Chloe Monroe, Nina, <laughs> Taylor Jones, Maddie Kuzikowski. So we just watched an amazing game. We're here with the uh, part of the team and Coach Brian. Uh, anything you want to say to the the camera, Brian? No, I, I think we should go eat. What do you think, girls? Yeah. Is it time for Fud Ruckers? Huh? Yeah. On that note, we are out it's live in Vegas. Ruckers. See you bye. Bye. Thank you. Know, uh, thanks, guys.